Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the 7th of July 2019 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Pisces. So we have five cards all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. We have the past, the present, challenges if you have any advice from tarot and outcome i've also turned over the bottom of the deck i don't always but i felt i should this this week and um, i've also got an angel answer card and an angel oracle card for further clarification this week pisces so let's start with the past position now we have two good cards here we have the three of cups and the king of pentacles king of pentacles is an earth energy specifically Taurus energy, but could well be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo for some of you. Some of you could have received advice or some kind of support. The Three of Cups can talk about emotional support, emotional guidance. It's a mercurial card as well, so there could be some communication and guidance given to you by somebody who is more in authority. Uh, could be a father figure, could be somebody at work. So it might well be that you're being guided by a boss or you're being guided by somebody who you might look up to. Um, the King of Pentacles is, apart from being a great sign of material success, he is also, as an energy, very good at the analytics about problem solving. So some of you may have had in the past been looking to solve an issue or a problem yeah, and I kind of think you're coming through that situation. The Three of Cups can be about celebration or just reaching that point where things are beginning to move. It's a three, it's the beginnings of manifestation. Things are just beginning to turn in your favour. So there might well be something to do with that. Um, this is just, this is the promise of you really being able to manifest your own money, your own success, your own material success. It's all to play for. That's what the kind of cards are saying. Certainly in the past, it's all to play for. And the three of, of cups, you know, these the three um, women, they can talk about threes in all sorts, but um, sometimes it's the three fates, sometimes it's the, the trinity for those of you who are holy. But this this is very much about the beginnings of reaping your harvest. You see here? The, these people are celebrating because they're, they've reaped their harvest. They're, they're at the beginnings of reaping their rewards of all their hard work. And there's real happiness associated with this. So I kind of think if you're not, obviously people are at different life stages when they re see these readings. If you're not at that stage, Pisces, this is a really positive indicator for some of you. I try and put these in categories, but the cards will inevitably overlap because they do. That's just what the cards do. And they do all relate to each other. So really positive energies there. There's promise. But there is something about problem solving. There is something about somebody giving you emotional support, stability. There are people who are really behind you. There's somebody who is giving you honest advice. They're 110% behind you. Now, they might be giving you some material support as well. Some of you may well have had some financial support in the past. Yeah, but beautiful energies. Now, the present position, Pisces, <laughs> these are so lovely. There we have, again, the King of Pentacles came out in a separate Rider right Waite tarot deck. So a really poignant message for some of you that both of these cards are, I mean, obviously there's a number of meanings, but these cards can both mean material success in some way, shape or form. I kind of think some of you there's a, there's a real promise of that. And again, it could be somebody in your life guiding you. But as an energy, this is a real promise of you understanding how to be more successful, materially successful in your own life. You finding value in you, other people finding value in what you do as well, maybe in the workplace, maybe to do with finances, that type of thing. The Sun card, you see this, kind of, it's kind of like a brick wall behind here. And this child on this horse, almost like looks like they've walked through the wall and in in theory they have this is you pushing through um boundaries limitations 
restrictions. Now, it might well be you could be pushing through a glass ceiling. You could be getting a promotion. You could be getting career progression. You could be getting job opportunities. This is a real card of good news, overcoming challenges to be recognised in your own light, Pisces. Certainly, there's great progression as well. This is divine energy. The sun is such a wonderful energy. And um, this is divine energy shining on you, creating a more abundant future for you. It's all to play for. Um, because this child, even though he's naked and he looks innocent, he's nice, full of wisdom. Because he's learned the lessons of the past. This child understands where they're going, how to get there, what they're going for, and making clear decisions accordingly. This is somebody who is restored in their own light, releasing from boundaries or restrictions or pressures of the past. Yeah, finding their own natural power again. And I think things may well just click for you this week, Pisces. Some of you, I mean, obviously these energies may well not happen in a week. But, you know, the, just, things just might start clicking for you um, this week. You may well find truths about yourself, find out truths about situations and find revelation in your situation as well that you can accomplish far more than you ever thought, that you are valued maybe far more than you ever thought, that you are, um, certainly in the workplace, far more valued. So, yeah, this is a journey. So some of you are just, the journey takes a turn for the better. It's a real kind of celebration. Success. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, challenges, and I was looking at these. Um, I'll leave that one second. Some of you are at that point, Pisces, when you're ready to receive opportunities. Now, this could be in love, this could be in business. The, the a page of wands can be talk about, it can talk about new beginnings, starting of something new, the very beginnings, the very seed of something new. Um, taking action in your life, and maybe for some of you, taking action is, is challenging. Maybe some of you are just happy with the status quo and you've not really reviewed your life to move forward, you know what I mean? Um, and I kind of think this is where things are being revealed to you. You're opening your mind this week. Revelation. This is opening your mind. This is a kind of awakening with the sun energy. Opening your mind to what's possible. And suddenly you start switching on to opportunities. And this is, again, this can be your challenge. New, begin new beginnings, opportunities, new directions, maybe in the business front, maybe in the career front, or maybe in your passions and desires to do with relationships. But either way, this is about you beginning to stand on your own two feet and acknowledge that you can bring about change progression by taking action now. You're feeling inspired, you're feeling motivated. I kind of think it comes, I mean, some of you, you know, Pisces, the, the lover's energy. I think some of you have heart, had heartbreak in love. I, there are levels to the Three of Swords energy as well. It does say, I mean, the, the beauty of the Three of Swords, however way you talk about it, swords are about truth and clarity. And when they go through the heart, it was a brutally, it's supposed to say you needed to see the truth, however brutal it was, in order to release, in order to move forward. And that's why the Page of Swords is, Page of Wands is here, sorry. Um, because it's only when this situation happens that you truly start focusing on what you want in life, your journey, and how you want to shape your life for the better. And that's what prompts you to take action. So some of you could have had heartbreak in love, this could be disappointment. Now, this could be big disappointment in whatever aspect, can be in relationships, can be in the workplace. It forces you to make big decisions. The lover's energy is about making big, big decisions um, in your life. And as soon as you do, as soon as you take action, as soon as you start seeing things clearly for what they are, you kind of like move forward fast. 
this is fast progression is at hand when you start taking charge of your life by making key decisions, accepting truths of what happened in the past and focusing on you, not on other people. Both of these cards are focusing on you. You're clearing what you want. This can be about clear decisions. This can be an idea. Um, but this Knight of Swords as an energy is fast progression. As soon as you focus on your path, things start picking up pace. But it is challenging to move on from a situation that may well have been negative in one shape or another. Um, but I kind of think you are beginning to take control of your life, Pisces, now. And really begin to make positive changes. And they, this again, the journey, fast progression, you know? Beautiful. So, in the advice from Tarot, we have the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. Let's start with the Hermit energy. Hermit energy is beautiful. This is healing, and I think some of you have had to undergo healing. And the Tarot is saying, listen, you've, you, you've gone through a healing process. You're finding your, your path, your wisdom from within. The Hermit is, is very much kind of like it's a card of Mercury. It's like an inner pep talk in a way because you're finding answers. You're going through process of, process of acceptance. You're navigating and slowly but surely this is raising your energy, raising your belief in yourself. The beautiful thing about the Hermit card is very much about raising your vibrational energy to move forward. So where you might have been down, where weights, where weights of life have pulled you down in one aspect or another, this, this Hermit card raises you up from within. And it is that, that inner pep talk, it's you. It is your energy talking to you in a way. Um, your inner world, your inner guide talking to you, your inner wisdom, your inner knowledge bringing you to a point where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel having gone through a challenging time. Now, this also is a card of making sound judgments in your life. And again, I just feel again with that lover's energy, the lovers can be about making key decisions in your life now, whether it's in love or business. And you're recognising that you can create your own success. And that's very evident. We've got two kings of pentacles here, you know, <laughs> real material success Pisces if you want it if you take action if you allow yourself to release from the past if you allow yourself to heal because as soon as you do you find fast progress you know some of you may well have been putting off decisions some of you may well have been you know putting off taking action on a situation and this is about just allowing going at your own pace and you'll know when to act that's what the cards are saying and as soon as you do you stand and I, I did feel that energy here with the page of wards you stand in your own success you stand on your own two feet you stand in your own power you're grounded you find solid ground you find stability you're creating material success not just for the money's sake but because it gives you security as well and this is somebody who's independent who understands that they can turn their journey into something really positive in their own right. Now, this could be about an entrepreneurial energy. Some of you starting business ventures where things really pick up pace. Some of you could be recognised on the job front, new opportunities to progress. And you're getting, the Tarot is saying that you have the opportunity to get material success this week. Um, Obviously, it can't all happen in a week, but certainly it can certainly start happening this week. Um, beautiful card of independence, you standing in your own success, in your own right. The nines are about making it happen in your world. And it comes from you. Again, that inner pep talk, I just feel for some of you, you're really pushing forward. As soon as you find that healing and acceptance and belief from within, you achieve in your external world, and that's what the cards are saying. And yeah, the outcome Pisces, we have the Emperor, card of Aries, and the Ace of Swords. This is the power of air. Again, power of air, things moving quickly, positive shifts. Um, 
This is about you getting your crown. This is your victory crown. You see these mountains? The analogy is that you've climbed a lot of mountains. You've climbed a lot of challenges. You've climbed a lot of obstacles. You've overcome um, challenging situations in order to come through the other side. And it would have been difficult. And this Emperor energy is about keep taking action in order to bring about this new beginning because it's well-deserved. This is a well-deserved new beginning. This is somebody who has fought their battles and come through the other side and deserves their crown, their power, their crown of power, their crown of victory. Yeah. There is something about you taking control of your own life as well that will bring about positive change. The Emperor is the great initiator. He has the power to shape and change his world for the better by overcoming challenges, by overcoming obstacles. He doesn't allow the world to overcome him. He overcomes the world, the challenges of the world. And that's, you know, both of these images are warrior images as well. So I think some of you have had battles, but you're overcoming them. And this is such a beautiful, this is the victory crown. This is the victory, uh, sort, sort of victory, sort of truth. Truth being on your side. Yeah. Now, they can also talk about good communication, maybe coming from an Aries. You could be making decisions to do with an Aries as well. But either way, this is about you taking charge, making decisions, communicating clearly what you want now. Again, the hermit energy, the inner communication. This is the external communication. You see how they work together, you know, and you moving forward in your own in your own light in your own right and it's it's well deserved so powerful and then i did turn over the bottom of the deck and we have the wheel of fortune and by taking action by initiating change by making clear decisions this week this is the beginnings of you changing your fortunes for the better and there's a victory at the end of it there's a new beginning how beautiful is that you're working towards being more complete. I always look at the circles here. You've got the sun energy, the circle. I just feel that this is, is you're heading towards a more complete time, a more fulfilling time if you take action, Pisces. Powerful energies, powerful energies. This is good luck, good fortune. Divine guidance. You have a lot of divine guidance here. Absolutely here, here, here. So, yeah. It is speckled throughout your reading, this divine guidance pushing you forward, and it's beautiful. So the angel answer card, I've not used these for a while. We have no need to worry, no need to worry, Pisces. Beautiful. And don't let worries get on top of you. It is about taking action, being practical. There's a lot of practical energy here. You've got a lot of pentacles energy being practical in order to overcome challenges, make clear decisions, grab opportunities and so on. And we have new beginnings, yeah. Beautiful new beginnings. This is the Angel Oracle card, very much tying in with the Ace of Swords energy. And, you know, the change of fortunes that, you know, this is such a wonderful card, the Wheel of Fortune. Things changing, things turning in your favour, ever-ending cycle turning, you know, and you're on the up. You're on the up. So it is a case of make hay while the sun shines, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.